Hi guys, it's Ksenia. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, I am doing another huge declutter video. After I did my first declutter that I did not too long ago, I got rid of like over 25 fragrances in that video. And after that, I was pretty happy with myself because it was a decent amount of perfumes that I got out of my collection. And then I felt like my collection was a little bit more catered to me because I feel like I had a lot of fragrances that I was just keeping around. I don't know why. Well, I mean, I do know why. Obviously, I have a fragrance channel and I do want to at least still keep a good amount of fragrances just for the sake of reviewing and for the sake of, you know, having a variety whenever I speak about different types of perfumes. You know, I like to have a good amount of perfumes to choose from, which is why my collection was so big, but I felt like it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I was just adding, adding, adding but I wasn't taking anything out and so it was getting out of hand. So that was the reasoning behind my first declutter. And then just a few days ago, I'm like, you know what? I feel like there's still perfumes that I'm holding on to for absolutely no reason that I definitely could get rid of. And at first I was like, I'm just gonna maybe get rid of like 10 more. And it ended up being 25 more fragrances, which is crazy. And what's actually even crazier is that I'm looking over at my collection and you would think considering with my last declutter video and now this one, that's almost over 50 fragrances out of my collection. I'm looking over at my collection right now and I'm like, where? Because it looks so full and it still looks like absolutely nothing has left my collection. So I literally have no idea where all these perfumes were hiding in my collection because it literally looks like I made no dent. But I feel a lot better because I feel like now my choices are getting a little bit more, I don't want to say limited because my collection is still, I haven't counted, but it's probably still like over 200 fragrances. But at least it's not as out of hand as it was when I had these perfumes. So before I show you these, same thing as my last declutter video, all of these fragrances will be listed up on my Mercari. I will have that linked in the description box down below. So if you like any of these fragrances, if you're interested in any of them, I will have them linked there. So check out my description box. And for those of you that maybe are thinking of purchasing any of these, number one, there is absolutely nothing wrong with any of these fragrances. Most of these I really really like and even love some of them but there's just reasonings like small reasons why I want to get them out of my collection just for the sake of downsizing so there's absolutely nothing wrong with any of these fragrances that's number one and number two my next video after this one will be another declutter video because I'm just I'm in a mood to downsize lately and I'm taking full advantage of it because I'm not in these moods very often. For some reason, I'm like very attached to my perfumes. Like that's one thing where I'm like clothes, I could declutter so easily, but perfumes I could hold on to for years. So the fact that I'm in this like downsizing mood, I'm like, let's use it. So my next video will be another declutter, but that declutter will be of my body mist and my lotions like Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, all of that. Those will also be up on my Mercari, but you guys will see what those fragrances are in the next video. So with all that being said, before we get into this video, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let's get started. And also none of these fragrances are even that used. You'll see there's not even a little bit of a dent in a lot of these. In fact, probably like 99.9% .9 of these. So yeah, they're like brand new fragrances. I may have sprayed them like literally two or three times, which is another reason that I'm getting rid of them because I'm like, why am I keeping these? All right, first fragrance, I think you guys might be shocked. I'm shocked. Like, I cannot believe, I still can't believe that I'm getting rid of this fragrance, but I have a good reasoning behind why I'm getting rid of it, and I love this fragrance, but I found one that I love even more. So I am getting rid of my YSL Libra. As you can see, there is barely a dent made into this. This fragrance, the only reason why I'm getting rid of, I love YSL Libra. It is one of the most elegant, boss, rich, sexy fragrances ever. Like it is so, so sexy, but I'm only getting rid of it because I recently bought the YSL Libra Intense, which I've talked about it. I feel like I've talked about it in like Every single one of my past like six videos, I talk about it all the time because I have fallen in love with the fragrance so much. And the DNA of that is about like 90% of this. The only difference with the intense version in this is that it has a lot more vanilla. So it's a little bit sweeter, even though this is pretty sweet to begin with, the intense is even sweeter because of that vanilla. And I have a big like full size 3.4 ounce of that one. 
And like I said, they share very, very similar DNA other than that like stronger vanilla scent that's in that one. So I'm like, I'm never really going to use this anymore because I love that fragrance so much. And it's basically the same as this, just better in my opinion. So that is why this will be going up on my Mercari. I no longer feel like I could get used. Oh, it smells so good. But I just know that I'm not going to use this because I found one that I love so much more. So... One of you will be in love with this fragrance, I promise you, because this is one of the freaking sexiest perfumes ever. I've talked about this many times on my channel. So if you want to smell like a boss, sexy, rich woman, YSL Libra is the scent for you. All right, let me get these three out of the way. I'm going to list these as one on my Mercari because they're all like one fluid ounce fragrances. So obviously I'm not going to just waste packaging. They're actually 0.5, these two. And then this one is actually one fluid ounce. So I'm putting up Rebel Fleur. What is this one? I don't know what this is called. It's also by Rihanna. It smells really, really good. In fact, I probably should keep that. But I'm not going to, okay? I, I already went through all these fragrances. I have my reasonings behind why I'm getting rid of them. So I can't go back on that now. <laughs> these two. And then this is um, Beyonce Heat like kissed or something like that oh my god i don't even remember what this is called but it smells nice it's just a little bit mature it's like a really deep dark red sexy sort of fragrance it's just a little bit on the mature side for me but it also smells really sexy and good i'm just trying to be really picky and keeping fragrances that i actually like love 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 so yeah all these are great fragrances rihanna rebel fleur is like one of the most famous fragrances ever and then you have this one i don't know but it smells really good it smells basically like pretty similar to rebel fleur just has like Maybe a little bit more fruitiness or sweetness to it. I can't put my finger on it, but it smells really nice. And then Beyonce Heat Kissed is also a nice fragrance. So yeah, these will be up as one. I'm getting rid of Sofia Vergara Love. This is a flanker to the original Sofia Vergara fragrance. This is a dupe for Black Opium. So that is a reason within itself why I'm getting rid of it. The fragrance is nice. I really enjoy Black Opium, but I have Black Opium in my collection, so... I don't know why I need to keep this around, especially since it is full to the brim. I don't think I have used this ever, so there's no need for me to keep holding on to this fragrance. It smells like I would say 90% similar to Black Opium. There's a little bit more fruitiness going on in here, like I almost kind of like this more, but at the same time, I definitely love Black Opium a lot, a lot more, so... That's why I'm getting rid of it. One of you guys will be really happy with that because it does smell amazing. This fragrance was a fragrance that I meant to get rid of on my first declutter. I just like forgot it and that's why it was important for me to do this other one because there was a couple scents that I missed in the first one that I definitely wanted out of my collection because this fragrance I straight up just don't really love. I mean the scent is nice but it's not my type of scent. This is KKW and the Kylie collab. This is the Red Lips. I love the pink lips and then I love the nude lips. Those are my favorite. They're a little bit sweeter and I've talked about them in my videos before so you guys know I love those. But this one is the most floral. So it smells, yeah, just very, very white floral to me. And this is actually a great dupe for Toka Florence, which I also decluttered a long time ago because it's just very, very floral. If you're into floral fragrances, then you would love this. But um, yeah, that's why I'm getting rid of it. It's just not my scent. I love sweeter scents. This one might be a little shocking to see just because I very recently talked about this. This is Escada Celebrate Now. If you watch my channel regularly, you might have actually just noticed this in my Valentine's Day recommendation, like my affordable perfume recommendations for Valentine's Day that I did. This is a really pretty romantic scent, very like girly flirty feminine and wow smelling it now i'm like why am i getting rid of this again i love this fragrance like it smells so good the only reason why i'm getting rid of it is because it smells very similar to fragrances that i have in my collection like for example nina richie amor amor by casherelle it smells within the family of those scents so that's why i'm getting rid of it but it's so good i may or may not list this now that i'm smelling it again because I already went through these fragrances like many times just to really be like, you know what? No, I'm getting rid of them. But with this one, I'm like a little wishy-washy because I really like it. 
But then I'm like, I have fragrances that smell similar to it. Like, why do I need another one? You may or may not see this. I I'm going through a little uh, roller coaster of emotions right now in deciding what I want to do with this. But it most likely will be. Okay. I'm getting rid of Just Me by Paris Hilton. So this is actually an amazing dupe for a designer fragrance that I bought that I love. So I will not say which fragrance that is because I do have an affordable fragrance dupes kind of video, like affordable fragrances that are duped for really high end designers. So this will be included in that, even though I won't have it anymore in my collection, but obviously I've had it. So I know what it smells like and I know the dupe that this smells like. And that's actually the reason why I'm getting rid of it because I have the designer version. So I'm like, I don't need both. So that's why I'm getting rid of Just Me, but this is a really nice fragrance. And for someone that doesn't love more floral scents, I love this. This is a pretty floral scent, but it has like pink pepper. It has like this spiciness to it. It's a really flirty, feminine fragrance. And for a celebrity scent, I actually think it smells pretty high end. I mean, it is compared to like, it's almost an exact dupe to a, a pretty uh, high end designer scent. So at the end of the day, it smells really, really nice. But for the sake of not having duplicate fragrances in my collection, that is why this will be Okay, this is Mariah Carey Dreams. I cannot tell you. I, I literally didn't even think I had this in my collection. Like, every time I go into my collection, for some reason I look past this. It's been in the background of all my fragrances. I never reach for it ever, ever, ever. And I'm just like, why am I still hanging on to this? It's a nice fragrance, don't get me wrong. Like, it smells really unique. I don't know what to really compare it to, but... For a celebrity fragrance, it smells pretty high-end in my opinion. There's like a freshness to it. I believe there's vanilla in here, so there's sweetness to it. But it's not like too much. There's a little bit of like this kind of nice muskiness. It almost like maybe slightly reminds me of Jessica Simpson's Fancy. It's in that sort of vicinity. Like it's almost like a, a bit of a fresher version of Fancy, if that makes sense. Like there's like a white floral scent to it as well it's a nice scent don't get me wrong i just literally never reach for it so i never will so that there's no reason for me to keep hanging on to this i'm getting rid of victoria's secret bombshell intense matter of fact now that i'm thinking about it i actually think this fragrance reminds me a lot of bombshell intense they have the same sort of muskiness to them like now that i'm thinking about it they are very similar in scents anyways unrelated to this video just want to let you know bombshell intense i believe there's like cherry in here there's vanilla in here it's a fragrance that's pretty sweet overall but i've never been into the scent of bombshell so i don't know why i'm still holding holding on to this fragrance it smells good but i get that bombshell scent in here it's just a little bit different because it's like a little bit sweeter and it's a little bit sexier like it definitely has a bit of like a red vibe but yeah, it's basically Bombshell Intense. <laughs> it's Bombshell Intensified. But because I've never loved Bombshell, there's literally no point. No point for me to keep holding on okay, to it. I'm getting rid of J Lux by J Lo. I've always raved about this perfume because I really do think it smells really expensive. There's like this cherry licorice -y vibe. It kind of gives me Lolita Lampica vibes, but like a darker, more like sensual, mysterious nighttime version, pretty much. And you guys know I love Lolita Lampica. I don't shut up about that fragrance. But I'm just getting rid of this because I have Lolita Lampica. So I don't need like 35 different versions of it. I feel like at one point I needed that. And that's why I have all these different versions of like the same fragrance. But now I'm at a point where I'm just like, why am I overfilling my collection with fragrances that all smell like each other but this is a really nice scent for a celebrity fragrance it doesn't smell like a celebrity fragrance basically cherry licorice deep dark sexy mysterious vibe that's j -Lo's. Right, i'm getting rid of paris hilton heiress i remember how much i wanted to find this fragrance i'll be real this is a very unique scent it's a scent that smells like bubblegum it's like sweet fresh juicy bubblegum and I wanted this mainly because I wanted to layer it with the bubblegum fragrance. I don't remember now the exact name of it, but it was like this bubblegum body mist that came out in Bath & Body Works a little minute ago. And I wanted this specifically because I wanted to layer them together. I wore them a few times and while it was nice, it's just... I don't know. Like, I feel like I don't want to smell like bubblegum on a daily basis. Yes, it's a fun, fruity, like, more 
juvenile sense, I feel like. I just reach for things that are a little bit more intricate nowadays. And this was just like a fun, bubbly fragrance. It didn't really give me like that sexy, sweet vibe that I normally go for. So that's why I'm getting rid of it. But it is a nice scent. It's basically exactly like what I just described it. It's like fresh, juicy, sweet bubblegum. And it smells so good and realistic to bubble. Right. I'm getting rid of two pink sugar fragrances. These are full-size bottles of, not pink sugar, they are pink sugar flankers. So I'm getting rid of Red Velvet and Berry Blast. So these are both really, really nice fragrances. Do not get me wrong, I love both of them. But I feel like I just love the plain old pink sugar way more with like nothing added to it. So these flankers are good. But they smell honestly almost like 95% similar to the original, just with like little variations that are not even that, that noticeable. So let's start off with Red Velvet. Red Velvet is basically pink sugar, but a little bit more gourmand, like a little bit more cakey and not as cotton candy, even though it still has that sweet cotton candy scent. There's a little bit of like a creaminess to it. It is called Red Velvet at the end of the day. And then Berry Blast is also exactly what it sounds like. It's basically like instead of just the pink cotton candy of the original, it's like blueberry cotton candy. And that's the only difference. I also feel like I have fragrances in my collection that smell very similar to this. Like uh, Salvatore Ferragamo Signorina Misteriosa is like a really sweet blueberry scent to me that I think could suffice, could be a great alternative to this. So I have that in my collection. I don't need this. I'm finally getting rid of Juicy Couture uh, Viva Le Juicy Noir. So I've been back and forth ever since I did my first declutter. I didn't know if I wanted to declutter this or not, but I do own the original Viva Le Juicy. I recently bought it. I think I hauled it like a month or so ago. I bought it like right before the holidays when all those sets were out. And I love Viva La Juicy. I know it's like a very basic scent and it's been around for years, but I love it. It's a classic and I, I just love the scent of Viva La Juicy. And Viva La Juicy Noir to me smells no different. I think there's more like berries in here. So I think that's supposed to be the difference. And like, yeah, there's maybe like 1% different, but it's not enough for me to keep around both. So I'm just gonna stick to the original. They're like 99% similar, but this is a really, really, really nice scent. It's super sexy and I love it. It's like Viva Le Juicy, but more berries. I'm getting rid of this CoverGirl scent. This is a really unique scent and I don't know if these are discontinued. I don't see them ever anymore. I bought them like randomly. They had like a stand of these at I think like a CVS and I was really intrigued because I'm like, CoverGirl has fragrances? Like, it was super random, so that's why I bought this one. They had like three or four all together. The other ones were a little bit more fresh and floral. This one was the sweetest one. I think this is called like sugar something or sweet something. I don't actually know what it's called. I'm gonna have to look up the name and I'll put it on the screen. But it's a nice fragrance, don't get me wrong. Kind of has like a tropical vibe to it. And then it's like sweet and fruity. It's nice. It's really nice. It actually reminds me of like a Sonia Kashuk. Do you guys remember Sonia Kashuk body mists? Like back in the day, you could get them at like Target years ago. They discontinued them. I don't even think Sonia Kashuk even makes makeup anymore. But they had makeup, they had fragrances, and they had these body mists. And there was like this floral body mist in that line that smelled really good. And that's what this one reminds me of. But I know, oh, here's the name, Sweet Blast. It's right here, it's right behind the bottle. Yeah, this reminds me of one of those Sonia Kashuk fragrances, but I just never use it. Like it's a nice scent, it's pretty light, it's not offensive, it doesn't really fill up a room, not crazy strong or anything like that, but I just don't use it. That's, that really just boiled down to right, I'm getting rid of Pink Friday. I feel like I'm getting rid of like a decent amount of celebrity fragrances in this video, but I'm finally getting rid of Pink Friday. I've held on to this fragrance for so long and don't get me wrong, I love this fragrance. Like I'm a sucker for a basic sweet celebrity scent. I love them, but I have like 50 of those types of scents in my collection, even after getting rid of this. I have One Direction, One Moment, which I actually really love. And that's pretty similar to this. I have, uh, Justin Bieber perfume. I don't know what the name of it is, but that's pretty similar to this. It's like that typical sweet juvenile celebrity scent 
and I'm a sucker for it, don't get me wrong, but yeah, this just was the one that I, I guess, liked the least. That's the only reason why I'm getting rid of it, but it's a pretty nice scent, don't get me wrong. It smells really good. And the sprayer is really nice too. It kind of also reminds me of like Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck, which I love, but I have Wonderstruck now, so yeah. Getting rid of Pink Friday. This fragrance is from Greece. I did a whole video when I got these fragrances. My parents brought them back for me like a couple years ago when they had uh, went to Greece. And my cousin, I had told my cousin because she lives there and I had told my cousin, please get me like a bunch of these BU fragrances because I really want them. We used to wear them all the time when we were younger and I just wanted to revisit them. They had a bunch of new ones. So my parents brought back a bunch of these BU fragrances. They're so good. They remind me of Greece and Albania. They remind me of like vacation. So I'm like attached to these fragrances, but this one was the least one that I was attached to because it's a very similar scent to Cloud. Uh, Baccarat Rouge. I want to really say Baccarat Rouge because I don't think it goes up to that But it reminds me a lot of cloud and I think that's kind of what it was supposed to mimic 90% similar to cloud. It has a little bit more to it Though like it has a really nice scent to it. It kind of has that like grease scent I don't know how to explain it, but it reminds me of home and it's called fairy's secret Oh, it smells so good. But yeah, I'm getting rid of this. It actually reminds me a lot of this scent right here, Tease Cream Cloud by Victoria's Secret. I am actually going to be decluttering that in my next video. I'm holding on to one of them, but I had like multiples and I'm like, I don't need to hold on to a bunch of these. But it reminds me a lot of that one. And then the last four fragrances that I'm decluttering are actually like brand new scents to my collection. So this scent, I'm so sad to get rid of it. And trust me guys, I tried and I tried and I tried to like it, but I just can't. Like, I really want to love it, but I just don't. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of Lolita, Lolita, can't talk. Lolita Land by Lolita Lampica. So I literally just hauled this. I just hauled this in my most recent uh, perfume haul. And even in that video, I told you guys how I'm like on the fence of this. I didn't know based off of the juice if it was like a bad one, like if mine had gone bad. But a lot of you guys kind of reassured me and told me that your juice is also pretty dark in your fragrances as well. And that it, it does smell like what I was kind of like describing in that video. So this scent is just so strange. And don't get me wrong, it's not bad. Like every time I smell it, I'm like, I like this, but I don't love it. Like there's just something that my nose does not like. It's nice in the dry down, that's my favorite part of this, but there's still a little something, like a bitterness, a sharpness, I'm not sure. It dries down to like this orangey, like orange creamsicle type of scent, I don't know, it's really nice, it's a really unique scent, very sweet, it is like vanilla -y and creamy, especially in the base, and like I said, like that orange creamsicle dry down definitely comes through when it does dry down. Some people explain this to be like apricot jam or something like that, like it's just, it's a nice fragrance, okay? I literally don't even know how to put my words together to explain this scent because it's just so strange and unique. But ultimately, I just don't think it works on my skin. There's something like a sharpness that really, really comes out on my skin. A lot of you guys told me that you love this fragrance. So maybe if one of you has been wanting this scent, well, now you can have it. It'll be up on my Mercari, but it just did not work for me, unfortunately. I really wanted it too, but it doesn't. Right. And then these next three fragrances you guys have never seen because I've been planning to do like an affordable perfume haul on all of these. I have even more perfumes, like affordable perfumes that I bought even like months ago, but these are the three that I'm gonna be decluttering before I even show them to you because they were blind buys. All, actually two of them were blind buys the other one was not it's just a duplicate that I'm getting rid of but these two were just kind of like more unsuccessful blind buys not in the sense that they smell bad but I have scents like it in my collection which is kind of like the running theme of this video so the first scent is coach legacy which looks like this and this scent actually smells really really nice it reminds me a lot of like some designer scents that I have in my collection. It smells really good. There's like a sweetness to it. It's a little bit floral. It has that typical designer perfumey scent to it. If you catch my drift, it smells complex. I mean, it is technically a designer scent because Coach is a designer, but 
because it's been out for a while you can get it for like a decent price i think i got it for like 30 bucks i think one of you guys will love this scent but i have scents like it in my collection so i'm like I, there's no need for me to hold on to this and just take up space because ultimately i know it'll probably end up in like a future declutter so i'm like let me just save myself the time and then there is guest double dare this fragrance looks like this now i'm getting rid of this because there's something in this that slightly reminds me of chanel coco mademoiselle like a muskiness or a floralness there's a sweetness to it as well but there is something that reminds me of that fragrance it is a little bit better i will say that like i like this better but i just know that although this is a nice fragrance i'm not totally in love with it and i know that if i kept it it would just end up not getting used so yeah that is guess double dare i think there's like pear in this some other notes <laughs> i don't know but yeah getting rid of it and then the last perfume that i'm getting rid of this is refuge by i was about to say charlotte tilbury definitely not uh charlotte russe these fragrances are actually pretty popular like i've seen them a lot on like tiktok or youtubers talk about them they're like these really affordable fragrances that smell i mean they don't smell like super high end and amazing but people have been saying that these fragrances like get like so many compliments so i'm gonna get rid of this one because for some reason i bought two of these i don't know why i also bought two other fragrances from charlotte russe which you guys will be seeing in an upcoming uh, haul video that i actually do really really like and i do like this one too but i have another one so i'm like why am i gonna keep two there's no point this fragrance just smells really fresh and fruity and light it's pretty good it's not the most unique and crazy outrageous amazing scent ever but it's nice and i feel like for me this is going to be an amazing gym scent because it's very inoffensive it has that fruity freshness to it that's going to help you know make me smell good and i'm going to love to like smell this while i'm working out because it's not going to like weigh me down but yeah i just don't need two of them like, why was i ever in these mindsets where i feel like i need to have like 35 bottles of the same perfume like that's just wrong so that is refuge by charlotte russe i keep wanting to say charlotte tilbury but all right so those are all of the perfumes i'm getting rid of and then whoever gets those fragrances in like random packages i'm just gonna throw these three in um blush Ken by kenneth cole this is a body spray that i got in like a set i recently hauled this perfume i love this perfume but i'm just like i don't need a body spray of it and it also came with like a travel size spray that i keep in my bag so i just didn't need the spray so i'll just throw that in for free like in a random package and then i'll also throw in these in a random package viva la juicy body not body spray <laughs> um body souffle that came in like a set with my Viva La Juicy fragrance and then a lotion for Diesel Lover Dose. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked yet another declutter video. Actually, I know you guys love these videos because even when I don't do them, I always get comments for me to do declutter videos. There's something that people love about like decluttering, even when it's like makeup or fragrances, like anything. <laughs> people love when people like declutter stuff. There's something satisfying about it and I totally get it because I love those videos. Like on YouTube, where you'll see those videos of people like decluttering their like massive makeup collections and it's just so sad. There's something so satisfying to watch about those. So I hope you guys like this. Stay tuned for yet another declutter video. That will be my body mist and my body lotions. That will be the next video and I think for a while that'll be it for declutters for me because now I feel like I'm in a really good spot, at least for a good while. And I'm pretty happy that I did this because I've gotten rid of, including the body mist and stuff, honestly, almost like 100 products out of my collection, which makes me really, really happy. And it, I feel like there's like a weight lifted off my shoulders, seriously. But yeah, that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!